Are you serious? Are you serious? Seven planets in alignment during the solar eclipse happening on April the 8th, 2024. Think about this for a minute. Seven planets, a comet, a total solar eclipse, X marks a step spot, Little Egypt, and two different types of locusts coming up. Are you serious? Three days of darkness. You're what? Let me tell you all about it in just a second. But first, let's take a look at this. Uh, and that is chuckdefense.com forward slash Paul. That's chuckdefense.com forward slash Paul. Oh, man. <laughs> Have you ever wondered what happened to the legendary Chuck Norris? I recently saw a video he made, and I was, like, shocked. He's in his 80s, folks, 80s. He's still kicking butt. He's taking names. He's working out and staying active. And what's even more shocking is he's stronger. He can work out longer and even has plenty of energy left over for the grandkids. He did this by just making one change. He says he feels like he's in his 50s. His wife even started doing this. She looks great also. She said she feels better and even feels 10 years younger and has incredible energy all day. Chuck Norris made a special video, okay, uh, that explains everything. Just click on that link under this uh, description, uh, in the description. Make sure you watch it by going to chuckdefense.com forward slash Paul. That's chuckdefense.com forward slash Paul. Don't miss this. Clicking on that link below, it will change the way you think about your health. Once again, that's chuckdefense.com forward slash Paul. And click on that link to, for the description below to watch the video. You won't believe how simple it is. And just a reminder that legendary Chuck Norris is 81 years old, and yet he's got more energy than me. Unbelievable. He discovered he could create a dramatic changes to his health, simply focusing, folks, on three things that sabotage our body as we age. Check it out. I'm, I know you'll be uh, shocked when you do. All right, now, guys, let me just tell you, this is unbelievable here, but we have seven planets <clears throat> that are going to be in alignment during the total solar eclipse on April the 8th. Also, as you guys know, um, there will be two different types of cicadas emerging from the ground. That hasn't happened since 1803. And it's happening in southern Illinois, which is where X marks the spot from that 2017, the Great American Eclipse, and now the 2024 Great North American Eclipse. They cross at Carbondale, Illinois, which is known as Little Egypt. And while all that's going on, the, 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 the planets are in alignment, seven of them. This doesn't even, you can't, I mean, this is insane. But I want to share this with you because all these, and there's a comet, comet, Pons, Brooks, it's comet 12P, Pons, Brooks, and it, it is coming around the sun at the same time. And as the solar eclipse happens, when the, when the, when the moon darkens the sun, if you look up, you should be able to see the comet in the shadow of the moon. I mean, this is unbelievable. But let's talk about the planets because no one's really saying anything about this. But I cover everything. On April the 8th, 2024, millions of observers in Mexico, in the United States, and eastern Canada will look skyward to witness a total solar eclipse of the sun. For the, for the United States, it will be the first total solar eclipse since the last one we had on September 21st, 2017. For Canada, it will be its first since 2008. And for Mexico, this will be their first since 1991. The great North American eclipse is visible from five Mexican states, 15 U.S. states, six Canadian provinces, and in the United States, it's an estimated 31 million people live in the path of totality, more than twice the number that lived inside the path of the 2017 total solar eclipse. 
The track of the totality begins at a local sunrise just to the north of the Cook Islands, crossing Central American mainland in western Mexico. One hour and 36 minutes later, this track leaves the eastern coast of Newfoundland and heads out into the Atlantic Ocean, ending at local sunset uh, southwest of the coast of County Cork, Ireland. This article, what I'm sharing with you, is, a, is, a, is an incredible, but it's an amazing uh, detail of the eclipse itself. However, we will examine this. The, there is seven planets that will also get in line with each other. Okay? Remarkably, all seven of these solar system planets are in the vicinity of the eclipsed sun on eclipse day unbelievable spread across an angular distance of about a 68 degree uh um, for a rough guide on how those angles can be measured in the sky okay now a star map following the planet's positions in relation to the sun at totality can also be seen if you if you look uh for it the seven planets are venus then also jupiter uh, and also Saturn and Mars and Mercury and Uranus and Neptune. Those seven will all be in alignment. It's incredible. And, uh, I mean, really, if you think about it, Venus, Jupiter, uh, Saturn, um, Jupiter and Saturn, yeah, Venus, Jupiter and Saturn, and uh, Mars, Mercury, Uranus, and Neptune. Seven planets lining up while there's a solar eclipse, while there is a comet, Comet 12P, Pons Brooks, coming into the shadow of the sun during the eclipse, visible also for the naked eye. And then there's two different types of cicadas that may be actually coming out of the ground or may have already come out of the ground by then or maybe going to come out of the ground a little bit later. That's hard to predict. We don't know when they come out, but they're coming out in this uh, during this eclipse period in the year of a total solar eclipse, which hasn't happened since 1803. So there is so much prophetic uh, Signs. I mean, if you talk about signs, and remember, none of these signs that I just mentioned, the so- total solar eclipse, the planet alignment, the comet 12P, Pons Brook, the, and the cicadas, two different breeds of cicadas coming out the same year, all four of those events are not man-made. Man has nothing to do with it. This isn't Harold Camping putting a date on the rapture of May uh, 11th uh, or what was it? May 21st, I think it was, 2011. This isn't Y2K, man freaking out, thinking everything's going to, you know, the world's going to shut down because it's uh, uh, all the computers are going to quit working on Y2K. It's not the Mayan calendar coming to an end uh, on my birthday, December 21st, 2012. All of those three dates, plus a whole lot of other rapture dates, all of those dates or things were man-made. This is God-made. And when something is God-made, it is truly a prophetic sign in the heavens. Okay? No doubt about that. No doubt about that. So we want we want to, and oh, by the way, we're having a webinar. And I just got the phone with Doug Hagman. I just got off the phone with Doug Hagman. He is also going to be one of our speakers. But uh, it's incredible, the lineup we have for this. The, the, get your tickets now. You want to go to Eventbrite, get your tickets at Eventbrite right now if you'd like. Um, and the, uh, the webinar is May the 22nd. May the 22nd. We've got, look at this. Listen to who we're going to have talking about apocalyptic signs. 
This webinar is called Apocalyptic Signs. But we have Mark Biltz, who's amazing when it comes to the blood moons. He's the originator of the blood moon prophecy. Uh, we have BP Earthwatch, who studies the sun, studies the uh, the, sc- the stars, studies the earthquakes, studies the solar flares, uh, and it really is the man that brought us the re- reality that when you have a major solar flare, a lot of times you have a major earthquake, not shortly thereafter. So he's part of this. We have Mike from around the world. You know he will bring some incredible information, dropping bombs on you on that day. Also, Rex Bear, who does a tremendous research. He's a tremendous researcher. He'll be pulling together a lot of apocalyptic uh, signs of the times that people don't even know about. Okay? Really good at doing it. Troy Anderson. Troy Anderson, my co-author of our brand new book, Revelation 9-11, a Pulitzer Prize nominated journalist, Troy Anderson, who is an incredible researcher. He'll be also speaking about these apocalyptic signs. Uh, I'm going to also put together a presentation for you. So will my son, Bart Begley. As always, he does his famous documentaries. And we just got Doug Hagman. And Doug is going to tell you about the, uh, the apocalyptic signs for America, what's happening at the southern border. He has exclusive information, exclusive pictures that's never been seen by anybody from, uh, and of things that are taking place and things that are going on that's going to blow your mind about the southern border. So this is a webinar of biblical proportion. I'm telling you right now, don't miss this. It is, get your tickets now. Go to Eventbrite, Eventbrite, Eventbrite. Get get in line. Get your tickets now. The webinar is March the 22nd. So there's so much going on right now. You know, so you've got, you've got, okay, first of all, we got, we're celebrating our 14 years online. And so we're lifting an offering for that on Friday, March the 1st. We got that going on. A huge, huge moment for us to push forward, taking, showing people the current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy. It's an amazing, amazing time, no doubt about that. We have that going on. We have the, we have the, uh, then we're going to have the uh, webinar on March 22nd, as we said, March 22nd. So get your tickets today. Uh, then on March 26th, we're having the release of our brand new book, Revelation 9-11. That, so get your pre-order in now as that's being released on March 26th. And then after that, I'll be preaching, along, and Heidi will also be speaking, both of us are speaking, at this big conference in Dallas, Texas called um, Signs in the Heavenlies. And that is April 4th through April 8th, which includes walking out and looking at the eclipse on the, uh, the total solar eclipse in Dallas, Texas on uh, April the 8th. As it goes right over us, you'll be in the totality. Amazing, amazing event. But that day is not just a solar eclipse. While I'm watching the solar eclipse for four and a half minutes, I'm also going to see if I can see that comet, Pons Brooks, in the shadow of the moon. I'm also going to look to see if I can see some of the planets in alignment. I can't see all seven, but I could see three or four uh, if things line up just right. I'm waiting. And then, I don't know, then i got to go back to Indiana a few days later. I hope I don't run into a a trillion locusts. Uh, So this is unbelievable. But all these things are happening right here, right now. Uh, Be sure you prepare for all of these events. So let's start with the first one, which is this Friday. This Friday, we celebrate 14 years of YouTube, March the 1st, 2024, your free will offering, your love gift from your heart on how much this this ministry, how much this YouTube channel, how much this ministry of reaching people means to you. You can go to our website and give. You can start doing that right now if you want, or you can put a check or money order in the mail with a nice little letter or a little card and just tell us what God is, what this uh, channel has meant to you. Um, you can go to, you can text give another way to do it. You can pick up the phone and call the main line at 
888-382-2230, or you can text the word GIVE to this number, 765-722-2549, or just write us. There's, the, there's our address, okay? Uh, but uh, let, obey God, okay? Let's be sure we uh, uh, start, and this really gets us off to a running, gunning um, move of God to show us how, how we can plan during this year helps us plan for the year based on the response of this offering on March 1st. Very important. Very, very important. We do it every year, but this is our 14th year. We praise God for each and every one of you. Thank you for being members of our online church. Thank you for being faithful tithers. Thank you for your special donations. It is a blessing. And God is setting up this solar eclipse with seven planets in, in alignment. A comet coming around the sun and be visible during the eclipse in the shadow of the moon. The solar eclipse itself. The crisscrossing of America at, at, at there in southern Illinois in what's called Little Egypt. There in Carbondale, Illinois. And the release of locusts all at the same time. Plus, we might be having already a red heifer uh, sacrifice may take place on on Red Heifer Sabbath, which is, of course, uh, March 29th and March 30th on the Sabbath. That is the day they may actually be uh, sacrificing and burning the Red Heifer for its ashes. Uh, that could be happening. And, of course, we have Resurrection Sunday coming. We have the Passover coming. I mean, we're in a, an, we're in a, we're in a, a prophetic period that I've never seen and I'm not even talking about the war going on in the Holy Land or the war with Russia and Ukraine and the, and, and all of the different things going on and, and the disease X are predicting and all the other uh, plagues and wars and rumors of war. I mean, I'm not even bringing all that stuff into this. I'm telling you, I've never seen in 14 years, I've never seen this many signs um, oh, uh, c- coming together in such a prophetic time period, a small window of prophecy, all of them are signs of the coming of Jesus Christ. He's the King of kings and the Lord of lords. I'll be right back after a song that I recorded on my album, Harmonize and Prophesy, uh, because I was requested. Here it is, reading Hemingway. Are you serious? Is this actually happening? I see geese flying high above the water, a child fishing with his father in the rain. I can smell blackberry brandy and chocolate covered candy. I see a soldier crying on a train, falling asleep, reading Hemingway. And the light under the Tiffany lamp glows all night long as I dream with weary wonder, leaving earth before the dawn. I walked the lonely streets of Paris. I was lost and so afraid, falling asleep, reading Hemingway. Feel the deepness of his weakness. I can taste the brandy sweetness at a roadside Idaho cafe. I can hear old Teddy laughing, Fitzgerald's toes are tapping to the roar and sounds of yesterday. Falling asleep. Hemingway And the light under the Tiffany lamp glows all night long As I dream with weary wonder Leaving earth 
But I'll get you some dates, Jennifer. Streets of Paris. Um, I was lost that I'll be so under the Big Ten. In April and May. I'll have that for you Thursday night. Under the Tiffany lamp glows all night long As I dream with weary wonder Leaving earth for the dawn I walked the lonely streets of Paris I was lost and so afraid Falling asleep Reading Hemingway And a shotgun blast Echo across the page, falling asleep, reading Hemingway. God bless all of you, and I'll continue to watch and see what else is taking place around the world. Give your life to Jesus Christ. He absolutely is coming soon. I'll be back. Are you serious? Did I say I'll be back? <laughs>